Welcome to Jerron Salah Products LLC. Hope all is well wherever you at. So this is gonna be part three for fear, right? It's a three video series, and this is the final video. So this is part three, right? Now let's talk about it. Now in the previous videos, right, I talked about and I elaborated a little bit about. You know, one of the ways I deal with my fear is by taking cold showers. But what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to get a little bit practical so that everybody can get a more visual perspective as far as uh, what it is that they can implement in their life by applying, you know, uh, the same concept, but in a different way. Right. Uh, so I take cold showers right now. Before I take a cold shower, right, listen very carefully what I'm going to share with y'all. Before I take a cold shower, right, I take, of course, a, a regular shower with warm water. Right now, when I turn the water on cold, right. So let's say I'm under the shower, like I'm standing in front of y'all. I turn the water on cold. Right now, what I do is I turn away. I look away like how I'm looking away from the camera right now. I look away. Right now, as I feel the temperature getting cold. Right. Soon as I feel the temperature getting cold, I go right under the water. Boom. Just like that. Right. And there's a reason. I'm going to share I'm I'm going to share with y'all something. This is very critical. Listen carefully, right? Fear fear builds up with time. The longer you take to attack anything in your life, a problem, whatever obstacle it is, the longer you take, the more fear builds up, right? The shorter you take, of course, less fear. Right? So we have to understand that the way the subconscious brain works, right, is we, our subconscious is trained to signal off potential dangers to us, right? So if we are used to taking warm showers and that's what our body is accustomed to, when the water turns cold, there's something that rings off in the subconscious, right? Like a danger signal, right? And this applies for any different other area of your life, right? Right. You know, so the subconscious is going, is going to give you every possible scenario of potential danger if you take this course of action for the decision you're going to make, right? So let's say, for example, if you take a cold shower, you're going to get sick, right? Which, of course, is conventional wisdom, right? Uh, you're going to get sick. You're going to catch a cold. You're going to get a flu. You're going to get a, you're going to get pneumonia, right? You're going to get bone cancer, right? Uh, all these what ifs, this could happen and this could happen. So in order to prevent the subconscious from sending these signals off to the conscious brain, which the conscious brain acts upon, right? What you want to do by, by doing this, by acting before you are ready to act, by not letting there be a time gap between you and the action that has to be taken, right? You know, you allow yourself to reprogram, right? Right. You, in a lot of cases in life, we have to deprogram and unlearn a lot of the stuff that we learn in order to learn new things. Right. Because when we try to learn something that's contrary to what we know, the subconscious, there's something going on in the subconscious brain. Right. It's, it's confused. And the subconscious brain needs clarity. So in order to get that clarity, you have to deprogram yourself. 
and you deprogram yourself by doing things that make you feel uncomfortable cold shower right so that's the benefit right so by looking away right the water turns cold i feel the temperature getting cold right i look away the water i could feel the temperature getting cold and i just go boom just like that immediate course of action right and this is the mindset you have to take if you want to attack fear, if you want to conquer your fear, because the longer you wait, let's say, for example, uh, if you're going on a job interview, right? And I'm using this example because this is common among society, right? As far and especially for the people that may come across this video, this is something common that, you know, we all have faced, right? And normally you would think of all the possible things that could go wrong, but the thing with fear is this, right? When you in fear so much, the thing that you fear, it actually happens, right? So let's say if you in fear that you're not going to get the job, more than likely you're not going to get it. If you fear that you will catch the coronavirus, more than likely you might get it, right? Because fear is energy that attracts negative energy, right? Is a frequency, right? This is why you have to use your fear to galvanize your action, to use it towards your advantage, right? Turn that negative into a positive because if you don't let if you use if you let the fear conquer you instead of you conquer the fear, your life will be governed by fear instead of you governing your life over fear. Right. Makes sense. Right. So that I just wanted to share with y'all that example. Right. You know, so maybe y'all can think about it and then maybe apply that same urgency to area in your life where you might be dealing with fear right now. Right. Because we all have fear. Right. And there's nothing wrong with fear. We human. Right. But the whole idea is to face your fears. You have to face it. You can't run from your fears. Right. Because every time you run from your fears, it's going to look at you in the mirror. Right. The mirror can't you. I mean, you can't run from your, your reflection in the mirror. You have to face that. That's that's a reality. Right. So I hope you enjoyed the video. That's all I have. And like, subscribe. Don't forget to uh, 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 check out the website. www.jeronsaloudproducts.com. Right. Hope y'all love the video and stay blessed, stay positive, conquer your fear, and I love y'all.